Okay, welcome back. Um, it's been a while, uh, but finally we've managed to track down uh, a 997C2S uh, 3.8, which is the one I've really kind of wanted to get hold of to compare with the 996 uh, 3.7 to see what the kind of performance levels are like between the two. I think it's going to be really interesting. Um, so normally I'd kind of film these video intros um, after the video is filmed. Uh, but this time I thought I'd film this now uh, because I genuinely don't know which way I don't know which way it's going to go um, I'm really excited to see what happens um, it's going to be really close because the 997 3.8 um, we're talking well the figures I've found anywhere between 350 and 355 horsepower so it is more powerful the torque figure is almost exactly the same there's like one or two pounds foot difference between uh, that car and my car. Um, I do have a weight advantage. Uh, the 997 is 75 kilos heavier as from what I can find on the internet. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, so it does have more power, but it is heavier as well. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm uh, really excited uh, to see what's gonna happen. We're gonna try and make this one because I know it's gonna be close I'm going to try and make it as scientific as possible. So I'll try and make sure that the cars have this sort of similar fuel levels in them. Um, and they'll obviously both go out um, on the same day, same conditions. I'll retest my car as well. I won't reuse previous figures. And on both runs, the cars are going to have two passengers as well. Sorry, one driver and one passenger. That's, that's what we're going to do today. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. spreadsheet um, so what I do is uh, we do in-gear acceleration only to eliminate things like driver skill and grip from the equation um, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory um, so yeah these are some uh, some figures here um, if we look at these initially now this is the original figures I got from my car during the break-in period um, so as you can see when compared to the figures we got from the 997 on the day um, my car is faster almost everywhere apart from uh, the third gear 30 to 50 um, however yeah there's really not much in it um, you wouldn't really feel uh, feel this difference um, at all um, so that kind of is what it is however i did say at the start of this video that i wasn't going to use these figures because um this you know these figures were done a long time ago um the whole point of uh, this comparison is that it's a like for like comparison so you know there's other variables here like ambient air temperature and all this other stuff so it's important that the cars are tested on the same day in the same conditions uh, and all the rest of it so we're gonna we're gonna ignore these figures completely uh so let's hide that yeah so this is the these are the figures that were taken on the day and the difference between them so left hand side 997 we've got the 996 figures here and then we've got the difference here now <laughs> this is kind of uh, the reverse of what we've just seen um, for some reason my car on the day uh, performed um, not significant it was worse everywhere um, not significantly worse in second gear but in third gear definitely um, my car at one point was a lot quicker than this so um, yeah, it was, that was a bit of a that was a bit of a shock. Um, 
but we can see here just you know comparing the two cars this i mean this is the difference so we, we did and this was kind of borne out by the experience in the cars as well so we did test them back to back second gear in each car felt about the same um, and you can see you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna notice you know these these kind of hundredths of a second here um yeah and that that is kind of what we what we felt in the cars but yeah third gear pull is noticeably different in the 997 it's just a little bit it's just that little bit more uh, than my car on the day again uh <laughs> It's one of those things. So uh, immediately after this, I was, you know, like I say, I was, I was surprised to see how, you know, my car's performance is, is kind of dulled um, now that the engine's broken in. I, I wouldn't have thought that would, that would be the case. Um, but I think what's actually happened is when the figures were taken initially during the braking period, um, firstly is, is engine oil. So during the braking period, you were on like a basic 540 oil. Um, once you're through the braking period, which I am now, um, you go on to the Miller's Nano Drive 1050. And that is a notable, noticeable difference. You feel every, everything's a lot smoother. So I don't know what, um, I don't know what impact, uh, you know, much, well, not much thicker, but a thicker oil would have on on these kind of these kind of figures, and I guess the bigger one um, is air conditioning. So when the initial figures were taken, um, I didn't have air conditioning, uh, but then on this day, it was a hot summer's day. I'd I'd um, had the aircon fully recommissioned, so that would have had an impact on those figures. So yes, we kind of forgot to turn it off, I think. Um, but the same should be true for the 997 as well. Um, so from that point of view, it should have been a level playing field. I guess the key takeaway is that the performance of these two cars is similar enough to the point where things like engine oil choice and air conditioning, stuff like that, is, is a factor so there you go, that's what happened on the day. So I will have to um, give the victory to the, the 997.1 C2S on this one. Only just, only just, it was very close, but yeah, the, I have to say. I, I, I was thinking that the way that my cast kind of deployed its torque would, would kind of get it, get it the win this time, I have to say. But um, certainly from, you know, from testing the cars back to back, the way that the 3.8 in the 997 deploys its torque is is just as effective, to be honest, as the 3.7 Hartec engine. And I think, you know, the extra 20 horsepower um, helps as well. So there you go, in a straight line, I think I'm going to have to say the 997 is probably just a smidge faster. But, I mean, you know, the, the, the 997 we used on the day, um, you know, obviously thanks again, Toby, for bringing his car out. Um, absolutely amazing thing you know and i know these things are normally subjective but i think um i think yeah, the 997 that toby bought to me on the day was i mean it's, it's just a nicer car than mine and by that i mean it's got more toys available in it uh, it's more luxurious uh, it's more refined generally speaking it's a nicer place to be inside it would seem as well that um it's a bit of a head turner because you know, we bearing in mind we went out. You know, it was the same day. I didn't see any attention whatsoever uh, when I was in my nine nine six. But when we were out in the nine nine seven, yeah, a lot of people were sort of looking, and uh, we even got I think we even got a thumbs up at one point from a farmer. So yeah, I mean it's you know it's a lovely thing, um, and like I say, and that's what I mean by it's a nicer car. The spec of it was was amazing as well, really unusual spec being you know the color combination. You had the extended leather pack, and literally leather everywhere. It doesn't help as well that the the nine nine seven seats are just better than the nine nine six seats as well. So that is one of the things that I'm I'm looking to do eventually is get some nine nine seven seats. Yeah, and the, the car is from from Paragon as well. So yeah, I mean you know that car was just on top form, um, low mileage as well. I think a fair, fair around fifty thousand miles, I think something like that. 
Yeah, so I do want to do a video with a 3.6 as well. So if you've got a 906.2 or a 907.1, do reach out. I think that'd be useful kind of stats to have. The other thing is I will do at some point, I'll get I'll get the car as it is on some nice roads and I'll kind of give you know, a more kind of a thorough review of how the car is now. Because the, the stage that the car is at now is kind of like a really good baseline. So I can see now like exactly how good the engine is and exactly how good the shift mechanism is and the clutch and flywheel setup and the suspension and all that stuff because everything's new it's like it's all about establishing that baseline and then from there you can think oh well, actually yeah the standard this that and the other isn't good enough so we need to improve this this and this uh, there's always things that we can do i think that'll do it for this one it's been a really interesting one um, I hope you've um, found it interesting, interesting as well. Um, if you did, yeah, drop a like, please. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.